Is there anything conservative about Ontario's progressive conservatives? I'm Brian Lilly with the rebel.media. I'm really growing tired of Ontario's PCs deciding that rather than be conservative, they want to be liberal light. They want to be liberals in a nice blue tie. And this is happening even under new leader Patrick Brown. What's the latest? Well, the legislature voted nearly unanimously in favor of a liberal health bill that will ban flavored tobacco. It will you know, restrict vaping, which a lot of people are using to get away from smoking. But to me, the important thing is, and this is the one that the PCs really should have stood their ground on, they're going to force chain restaurants to post their calorie counts, but only if you have 20 or more locations. This isn't about health. This is about an anti-corporate mentality. This is leftist ideology driven by the likes of Morgan Spurlock in his movie Super Size Me. This is about hating places like, yes, McDonald's. So that's what it's really all about. The fact is, anybody that wants information on nutrition, on how many calories are in a McDonald's meal, well, they can easily find it. It's right here. They give you a pamphlet. I asked for it, they gave it to me. Oh, wait, hmm. As I'm eating my fries, my medium fries, I can read it right there. My pop, well, I'll admit, I got the Coke Zero, so there's no calories for me to worry about. But calorie is a very poor descriptor of whether something is healthy for you or not. There's so many more things that go into it. But this is sim simplistic thinking driven by an anti-corporate mentality that the left has jumped onto. I mean, the steakhouses that Deb Matthews and, and, and Kathleen Wynne go to around the Ontario legislature, they're not going to be told that they have to put down how much is on their butter stuffed baked potato. They're not going to have to explain how many calories are in their umpteenth glass of Chardonnay. No. But the rest of us are going to be berated into feeling like we're doing something wrong if we go into a McDonald's. The fact is, you can eat healthily at McDonald's. You pick up this brochure and you can find out all kinds of information about what you're eating. So why did the PCs go along with it? I've been speaking to some insiders and they say this would not have happened without Patrick Brown's approval. That the orders would have come from him. Some PCs have decided they don't want to talk to me about it. Others are just, you know, trying to keep their heads below water or under, under the radar with the new leader. Randy Hillier appears to be the only one with any principles on this. He said he's really worried about this bill for a number of reasons. He's the only member of the legislature to vote against it. He's worried that people that want to quit smoking will find e-cigarettes, the so-called vaping, restricted in ways that it shouldn't be. Health experts have said it helps people quit smoking. As for flavored tobacco, look, I get trying to restrict it. The federal conservatives have tried to restrict its sale to children. That's laudable, but if we're not going to ban all smoking, why are we going to ban flavored tobacco? But this really sticks in my craw, and not because I'm wedded to McDonald's. There are all kinds of ways for people to eat healthy, and as I said, calories are just a bad barometer of someone trying to eat healthy. This is not about health. This is about politics. This is about agenda. This is about trying to be seen to do something that people think will work. I read one study supporting this idea from the National Institutes of Health in the United States. This is a major body, and you know what they said? They assumed that if 10% of people chose to eat differently as a result of these calorie postings on menus, that it might then lead to a reduction in obesity. Those aren't exactly studies that you want to hang your hat on, yet Ontario is going to force this upon companies, which comes at a great cost, which comes with more nanny statism. For what? What kind of results other than a greater influence of government trying to run your life? Shame on you, PCs. Shame on you.